Tonight on the Inside Poop, we have an exclusive interview live in our studio with America's top held model, Fingerella Stroke One All. Inside Poop. Fingerella Stroke One All battled dozens of the country's sexiest digits in the last recycled season of Lyra Skanks, America's next top hand model reality series. With cameras filming 24 hours, they were certain to capture melodrama, bad acting, <coughs> dancing, <coughs> public urination, and that now infamous handy fit that happened all within the hand model house. Since then, Fingerella's star has risen as she has nailed the many handwalks for top polished designers of Paris, London, New York, and Tokyo. Fingerella has discovered that the price of fame can be international shame. Late nights partying at after hours nail salons in West Hollywood and run ins with the paparazzi have taken their toll on the supermodel. After her notorious road rage incident last summer, followed by a DWI, Ella was sentenced to a six week, 12 step program to help her on the road to recovery from her unfortunate acetone huffing addiction. With debt mounting from her addiction and recovery period, Ella did what any fallen hand model would do in a bind. She posed as a centerfold model for Hussy Hands' holiday edition. Now we have Fingerella live in our studio to tell us her thoughts on life as a handy mate. Yeah, people will discredit you just because you posed in Hussy Hands or Handler. <laughs> Nudity is not a big freaking deal. I'm naked all the time anyway, people, and hello, hand dolls are like my life. Besides, the money more than made up for it. Ha ha ha. You. With all the gossip rags and celebrity blogs buzzing from Ella's steamy photo spread, Handywood once again is hot for this ham starlet. Fingerella, could you tell us what life is like as both a supermodel and an addict? It was freaking tough. I mean, there's so much pressure to like fit into Handywood, you would not believe. Anywhere you go, any nail salon or after hours club, it would like always be right there in front of my hand. And I wouldn't even have to ask. And we're like talking the good stuff. Good stuff. The finest French polish remover you can get. But soon, I try to get high off of anything. Even huffing cuticle oil. Who is the ravishing young lady you have with you here in the studio? Oh yeah, the chick with the bag of her head is my donor slash personal assistant. It works out great to have her as my PA because I pay her peanuts and she's around all the time. <laughs> I love me. <laughs> How do you like having hands that are the most famous hands in the world? Uh, no, I don't want her tough because she's non-union. She's not a member of HAD, the hand actors guild like myself, duh. And after all, I can't have her upstaging me. No snuckle. My agent and lawyers got a call, and I can't say that it's definite because we're still negotiating. But you might just see me high flicking and dancing with the hands next season. <laughs> During the commercial break, we kept our cameras rolling and caught Fingerella up to one of her notorious diva tantrums. Well, can I get the f***ing lipstick on my hand? What the f*** does the hand have to do to get a little f***ing attention over here? No f***ing time! What the f***? You call this a makeup artist? Hello! It's a hand! <laughs> Yeah, just fuck me, bitch. Would someone please have to keep a hand? Please? <laughs> 
And that's a wrap for this edition of the Inside Poop. Next show, we'll have Fingerella back in the studio to tell you why bulimia isn't bad for you. Oh my god, that was so retarded. <laughs>